Logging truck drivers work an average of 5, 12 to 14 hour shifts each week. Their hours fluctuate seasonally depending on weather and on the location of the logging block they are hauling from. Logging truck drivers are not legally allowed to work more than 15 hours per day. Every shift begins with a pre-trip inspection where brakes, stakes, bunks, lights, and other areas of the truck are inspected to ensure they are in safe working order. This is frequently done in the dark and takes approximately 20 minutes to complete. Performing the pre-trip inspection requires forward bending and twisting, forward and over the shoulder reaching, climbing and balancing, crouching, kneeling, and rare crawling. Oil levels and other fluids must be checked as part of the pre-trip inspection. This requires opening the truck's hood, which involves a light to medium pulling force. The hood of the truck may become heavier from buildup of mud in the wheel wells. The hood may be required to be pushed open from under the fender. This requires a medium to heavy pushing force and over the shoulder reaching. Careful attention must be paid during the pre-trip inspection to make sure nothing is overlooked. The results of the pre-trip inspection are documented in the truck's logbook as well as the duration, distance, and weight of each haul. This information is entered intermittently throughout the shift and requires fine finger dexterity while using a pen described in the logbook. Fine finger dexterity is also used to enter data into a computer for trucks that have electronic logbooks. Trucks are fueled up one to two times each shift depending on the distance of each haul. Fueling up requires rare, light lifting forces and below shoulder reaching. Once the pre-trip inspection is complete, the logging truck driver drives the logging truck to the logging block to be loaded. Driving makes up 80 to 90 percent of each shift. An average of 500 to 800 kilometers are traveled each day. Constant concentration and vigilance is required to observe surroundings and ensure safe operation. Driving the logging truck involves constant sitting in an adjustable air ride seat. A substantial portion of the driving takes place in the dark and on bush roads which may be extremely rough, narrow and dangerous to operate on. While driving, the worker is exposed to constant vibration and frequent jarring. Operating the steering wheel requires constant forward reaching, rotation and upper limb dexterity with the left arm and frequent forward reaching, rotation and upper limb dexterity with the right arm. Operating the gear shift involves frequent right shoulder abduction and adduction repetitive forward reaching, and light pushing and pulling forces with the right arm. Operating the accelerator and brake requires constant plantar flexion and dorsiflexion of the right ankle and flexion and extension of the right knee. Operating the clutch requires frequent plantar flexion and dorsiflexion of the left ankle and flexion and extension of the left knee. All three of the foot pedals require light strength lower limb pushing forces to operate. While driving, the worker is exposed to frequent repetitive and sustained mild neck flexion, extension and rotation and mild trunk flexion and rotation while observing surroundings and watching the mirrors. While driving in reverse, the worker is exposed to moderate repetitive rotation of the neck and trunk. The logging truck driver occasionally uses a radio to communicate with oncoming traffic, other trucks, the loadermen and the mill yard. This requires occasional over-the-shoulder reaching with the right arm and clear communication skills. In order to access muddy or snowy roads, logging blocks, and steep hills, the logging truck driver may be required to chain up the drive tires of the truck for extra traction. Chains are lifted from waist height to chest height off the truck, carried to the rear tires, then draped over the dualies. The smaller 7mm chains weigh 50 pounds and the larger 8mm chains weigh 65 pounds. In certain weather conditions, chains may need to be beaten with the hammer to rid them of ice and mud. This exposes the worker to intermittent upper limb jarring. Chains caked in ice and mud may weigh 70 to 80 pounds. When handling chains, the worker is exposed to forward bending and reaching under load, firm grasping, heavy lifting and carrying forces, and crouching, kneeling, and working in awkward body positions. Chains are handled rarely to occasionally, up to four times each shift. Once the logging truck driver arrives at the logging block, the trailer bunks may need to be raised, requiring over-the-shoulder reaching and medium-strength pushing forces. Over-the-shoulder reaching, often with the pike pole, and medium-strength pushing and pulling forces are required to lower the bunks once the trailer is unloaded. Once the bunks are loaded, the logging truck driver is required to throw cable wrappers over the loads to secure the logs. 
The wrappers weigh 10 to 15 pounds and require a significant throwing force to clear the load. Wrappers must be thrown to a height of approximately 15 feet to clear the load. Throwing wrappers requires a firm grasp, repetitive trunk rotation, neck extension, over the shoulder reaching, and forceful abduction of the throwing arm. This places significant dynamic stresses on the worker's back and shoulders. Once the wrappers are thrown, the worker climbs under the load and pulls the wrapper chains to the side to secure them with a cinch. This requires deep bending and crouching and light pulling forces. The driver may also use a pike pole to pull the wrapper chains to a position where they can be secured. This involves forward reaching, a lifting force of approximately 10 pounds, and light pulling forces. Securing the cinches requires firm grasping, over the shoulder reaching, finger dexterity, and a medium to heavy strength pulling force. Throwing wrappers is performed one to two times each shift and up to six wrappers are thrown over each load. After the trailer is loaded, the butt ends of the logs must be timber marked with a stamp hammer weighing 10 to 15 pounds. This requires sustained neck extension, over the shoulder lifting, and repetitive swinging and upper limb jarring. After driving from the logging block to the mill, the driver is required to release the cinches so that the trailer can be unloaded. This requires shoulder height reaching, firm grasping, and medium to heavy pushing or pulling forces. Pulling the wrappers from the loads requires over the shoulder reaching and medium pulling forces. The logging truck driver is occasionally required to walk and dynamically stand on uneven, wet, icy, and muddy terrain. This is often done in the dark. This exposes the worker to slipping and tripping hazards and places unpredictable forces on the hips, knees, and ankles. Intermittently throughout the shift, the logging truck driver is required to climb in and out of the cab or onto the deck and trailer. This requires good balance, pulling their own body weight up three steep steps and climbing while keeping three points of contact. The steps and other surfaces may be slippery in wet, muddy, and icy conditions.